beautiful creative people. This is Kyla Givehand coming at you once again for Book in the Day. Um, today is January 31st. It's the last day of the month and um, there have been five Thursdays in this month and today is the last one. So we are in week five of Book in the Day and I guess I have to just, you know, for the sake of consistency say I'm excited about this book. Um, so I've been off camera, well let's see, we'll start with the time. It's not as late as it was the last time, last week. I started at 2.40 in the afternoon. Today I'm starting at 1 o'clock, 1.02. Um, but I've done a lot of off camera planning and thinking about the book. I don't yet know the content. Um, I have cut my pages. I know what size I want to do, which it's kind of weird to plan out my size before I plan out the actual um, content, but it's a process, right? And I'm hoping that these videos will allow me to figure out what my actual process, how I work best, and what works best for me as a book artist. But um, either way, this is the process I'm thinking about today. So I've cut out the paper and I'm going to use, um, it's going to be a fairly small book. These are my these will be my uh, the sheets that I use for my signature. Um, they'll be folded, so it's it's fairly small. It's going to be a pretty skinny book. Um, and then I'm going to do I think today, and again we'll see what the process holds for me. But I think I'm going to do a what's called a wrap around pamphlet. And basically these signatures will be folded and sewn into a cover that then wraps around so that you can't really tell that it's been sewn. Um, I like the what, what that means um, in terms of size for my cover. So my cover is going to be, uh, let's see I have my dimensions written down, my cover is going to be 20, by five, uh, 20 and 5 sixteenths by 6 and um, 2 eighths. So it's a pretty long cover and I'm using a piece of um, watercolor paper. I believe this is Canson like most of my papers have been uh, on the videos. So I'm going to venture out as we, I mean we're still in January, there are a lot of books to happen so I will eventually start looking through my stash and seeing what other things I have but right now I'm trying to use just what I have on hand and I, have, I happen to have a lot of Canson paper. Um, I have some Strathmore. Um, and then I have some handmade papers that I'm probably going to use throughout. Um, I have a lot of different things. So today's book I think is going to include a poem that I've written. I don't know which one yet. I'm going to go over to my computer and just kind of browse through pieces that haven't been published anywhere else before um, and think about yeah which one might fit best for this style of book that I'm doing. I will be um, doing some mixed media work on the cover because I'm not going to leave it blank, obviously. Um, and again, I haven't decided. I'm going to let the content just drive how I decorate the cover. So I will be thinking a little bit about that offline, off camera. Uh, and then I'll come back hopefully with a poem selected and some ideas about the content for the cover. And then for the inside of the book, I'm thinking that I am probably going to run these pages through my printer. Last week I used the typewriter and I absolutely love that uh, effect. But I think I want to be able to play around a little bit with font or do something, I don't know. I'm not sure yet, obviously. Um, so yeah, that is my plan for the day. So I will um, go off camera, do some thinking, and then I'll be back. Hello again. It is now 4.50. So it's been several hours since I was on camera and I've done a lot of different things off camera. I started by figuring out which poem I was going to use and I selected one that I had written a long time ago. I revised it a lot. I changed it, um, kept the title, but I did um, edit and revise it significantly. So I've selected the poem.
Okay, so we are at 9.15 p.m. I have done um, all of the inside pages of the book and the cover front and back are done and it's dry completely. So the next step is for me to score these, score this so that I can I'm going to bring out my score, scoreboard. Um, I'm going to score this so that I can fold it and get the pages sewn into the first section. And then from there, I will um, complete the wraparound. And yeah, that's, that's what's happening next. So I'm probably going to speed through this part and just put up notes about what I'm doing. Okay, so I am going to try something that probably is a horrible idea, but um, I really want to use this silver, um, it's not thread, it's almost like a wire, and I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I can't get it through my needle, so I am going to hand, <laughs> hand sew this, we'll see, without any, uh, I'm going to do it without a needle and see if I can make this work. I suspect trying to get it through all these holes from the back is not going to be as easy as it was to go through the center, but I am willing to give it a try. I'm going to make my hole a little bigger because I really like this, this thread or this, um, I think it would just look really nice because you know, there's a lot of shimmer and silver in the book, so. But this is probably, this is going to be a little bit of a disaster, probably, um, in terms of sewing. So I'm going to put a little piece of artist tape on it, on the string, to hold it in place while I fiddle with it through these four sheets. Alright, so at this point I'm just going to do the next set of scoring. 
So I'm basically just going to score right where this is already ending. So we have that piece and it gets bent back. All right. Then our next score will be here where this ends. And I'm going to try and allow a little bit for, I don't know how much I can. Oh yeah, that's gonna work nicely. Okay, I'm going to I'm actually gonna, mm, yeah, okay. I'll put the measurements on. The name group. So that folks can see where the score lines happen. And the score lines are really just to help me fold it uh, more precisely. And then the final score line actually goes there and you open the book and it actually wraps around the inside like that. So I'm going to move the scoreboard and just show you how the book wraps and falls. And I need to um, crease my, my wraps a little better. So I'm going to start the first section where we sewed the signature in. Okay, So the signature is sewn into the first fold. Then we scored right at the edge of where the book would have ended if it were just a traditional pamphlet. Then we wrap, we fold this one back. All right, now you have the two extra pieces. So then one wraps around the section that has the um, sewing. You open the front cover, and that wraps right around that. And then it closes, and you're, so your sewing is no longer exposed. Um, I have to add the, cover, the front, so I am going to add the front. Um, and I will be right back. Camera, but I am a happy camper. I am smiling from ear to ear because guess what? It's not 3 a.m. It is 10.02, still Thursday, 10.02 p.m. And I am done with booking a day number five. Yay! I'm super excited. Um, even though I started at, I don't know, one o'clock roughly, somewhere in the one o'clock hour, so, yes, um, this book brought up a lot of interesting things. Of course, I will talk about most of them on the blog. Um, but I, I had this huge idea of, oh, I'm going to use stamps and stencils and all the stuff I was going to do to this book. And as I started making it, I just, none of it, none of that felt like the right thing to do with this book. It felt like it wanted to be very simple and a little understated in terms of all the other stuff and maybe let <clears throat> maybe let some of the painting and the different blues that I use throughout be a narrative as well so I don't know I'm, I'm I need to think about it a little more clearly it's very fresh because I just finished it um, so here we are midnight at the oasis by me Kyla Givant um, it's a fairly you know, medium size size book, and it is a uh, wrap around. So when you open it, um, and typically, I've I've made some allowances for that extra thread that I have in there. But typically, you can have your wrap around come all the way to the edge here. I'm actually not bothered by this. I I actually like the knowing letting a person who's reading and experiencing this book open this. And know that there's more there's like this expansive ocean which 
Man, I didn't anticipate that, but I love that that is what happens. If you undo the wrap around, you go from having this very small oasis to just being engulfed in blue and water. So I really like that. Um, so we have our title page and then it just starts to unfold and it unfolds with a lot of different texture even the page feels very textured um, the acrylic I, I'm pretty sure it's the gesso the clear gesso is very grainy um, and so it has added an extra layer of graininess um, to the pages which it, it adds to the experience the, the tactile experience of the book so the pages are just very, um, yeah, I, this this was the one that kind of came out with, uh, remember I think at the beginning of the tape I talked a little bit about having blue, or having brown because you think oasis, you think desert. So there, I didn't use brown, but I used silver mixed with a little tint of blue and somehow it came out looking, it probably looks, I don't know what it looks like on camera there, but um, it has a very brownish tone to it. Um, I'm so happy with this this full spread with just the word escape there. I wasn't sure how that was going to play out, but um, as I read the book through the first time, I'm, I'm very happy with that. It feels right. So yeah, the book is done. And I still have time to go have a meal with my family. <laughs> I don't have to keep my mother up till 3 a.m. again, two weeks in a row. I'm excited about this book. Um, I'm going to talk again on the blog about just the experience of this. Um, I, f I forgot how much I, I had forgotten how much I love this structure, this wraparound, um, because it allows you to have a pamphlet. But, I mean, just think of if I were using text throughout or if I had some other images I wanted to have. I mean, there's so much space here for all of that, right? If I wanted to have text on these pages that was somehow... Um, doing some an extra level of narrative because the, the reader would literally have to open it to experience that part right they could experience this narrative that's happening here but there would be this other opportunity for narrative which if i were doing this book in addition i might do but because this is book in a day um i feel that this book is done and i'm excited. I had a lot of fun actually making this book. I hope you will join me. I hope you'll take a look at the blog post that I'm going to write tomorrow um, and that you will consider making a book in the day even if you don't use this wraparound pamphlet style structure that you will create something um, of your own. I hope this has inspired you um, to either create a book or write a poem or just uh, create something. Thanks again for watching.